Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here for discussing a very important legislation that is Dude Frank Wall Street Reforms and Consumer Protection Act. This is a lovely evening. I can see outside in my window people are leaving from the offices. The weather is really good. There is no snow outside. And we are going to discuss this Dude Frank Wall Street. This is the really important legislation. It came in 2010, and this is a part of the great initiatives of Obama administration. Uh, it came in the result of the correction of the Great Recessions, and this is a federal legislation in general. Uh, broadly, in terms of agenda, what we are going to discuss today is um, very interesting. We'll see how this originate, what was the need of this legislation, and uh, what was the process, what was the responses of different senators, different stakeholders from the, from the industry. We'll, t we'll go in an overview of this. We'll extend our discussion for certain type of provisions when it create a financial instability. So how to play an active role. Uh, this is we will discuss in the financial stability. We'll discuss the liquidation authority rules and its uh, core activities and its contribution towards the financial institutions. We'll see the transfer of powers to the controller. Uh, we will discuss the role of DFIC and uh, very important role of FAD in terms of these legislations. Uh, in the later half of our discussion, we'll see the regulation of advisors to the hedge funds and the others, insurances, uh, improvement to the regulatory frameworks uh, in terms of Wall Street transparency and accountability, payment, clearing systems, settlement, supervisions, investor production and improvement, and uh, we'll see uh, what are the important things related to this legislations. In the later half, we'll discuss the Bureau of Consumer fi Financial Protection, Federal Reserve System provisions. We'll see the improving access to maintain financial institution, Paid Back Act, we'll discuss in detail, Mortgage Reforms and Anti-Predatory Lending Act is really important and it's very much in to discuss. We'll see some type of misleading provisions. Moreover, we'll discuss section one, two, five, six contracts. And uh, very important for all of us is to know the impact of this legislation, uh, how it is implemented, what are the outcomes uh, achieved from this, uh, what were the reaction, uh, what was the legislative reaction from different people, how the industry and other groups um, took it um, in terms of um, uh, beneficiaries in, as beneficiaries to these legislations, uh, how the budget office um, took this, um, how it helps in job creations, um, effect on small business banks, and the constitutional challenges that the student Frank got. This will be the uh, agenda for this beautiful light. We'll see the effect of financial crisis which came in 2007-2009 was spread all over the country and it causes a great recession. In that case, the government activated, they, they bring up with some corrective measures, which is mainly the two key players. One was the Frank and one was the Dude. And these are named as Frank Dude legislations.